I know how, I like how the Somalis say my last name. Reggie. Reggie. I was like, okay, I like that. You know, I was like, hey, that's okay. They don't know what this, they don't know what this, this Regan is. They don't know. Don't sound right, huh? I always felt like that growing up myself. Like, I felt like everybody else had extra Muslim names. Yeah. I went for Hajj, and they was calling out with the passports. They was like, you know, uh, uh, Mustafa. He'd be like, here, he get his passport. Uh, uh, Abdi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He get his passport. They had one brother. He was he was so Muslim, mashallah. His name was Muhammad Muhammad Ibn Muhammad. <laughs> he's like he's like here here. And then they said Omar Iran. They was trying to say it the, I I the first time I heard a Sahaba and a Republican in the same. I was like, man. But my mother, alhamdulillah, my mother, she converted. I was um, I was five years old. My mother converted. And listen, I I sympathize with a lot of you about the duxi. Listen, I was um, I was talking about the duxi, right? Yeah, everybody, duxi, yeah. Woo -hoo! Listen, I had my experience about the duxi. This is one of the reasons why I think I went through so much struggle. I couldn't, I didn't know none of the Tajweed rules. Like we were learning, they was teaching me, um, you know, like Shadda is two, it was like two counts, like two beats, it's like two, two letters. This is how I was learning, but I did not know the names of all of these rules, right? So it wasn't until later in life that they was explaining the, you know, touch weed and itram and ithar and ghunna and everything. And I was like, I, what, what? They was like, you need to know ghunna. I was like, what's a ghunna, right? So I was like, wow, I can't remember. I couldn't remember it. So here was my idea. I was thinking I need to find a way that I can learn the touch weed rules so that I can learn that first and then go and study Quran so my Quran wouldn't mess up. So I thought, Bling! what if I could speak English in touch weed? And then if I learn the rules, then I can go and study Quran. Do you know why? Because the brother, he scared me. He said, if you mess up with Quran, Allah is going to punish you. I was like, Woo! So I was scared. It wasn't until later in life that I learned that if I, had, if I made, made a mistake, I'd get two rewards, right? He didn't tell me that. He was like, Allah is going to punish you. I was like, oh, I don't want to get punished. So I was trying to come up with a plan so I wouldn't get punished. So I was like, I'm going to speak English and touch weed. Like, where are you going? Come back here. And, all right. So I was trying to tell the, I was like, hey, I went to the... Look at him. he's really messed up. Right. So listen, I went to the, I was like, hey, teacher, I have an idea. I want to be able to learn. And he was like, haram, this guy. They was looking at me, haram, this guy. Right? And so I was like, no, I'm trying to learn the rules. I don't, because I don't want to get punished because I want to learn Quran and I want to be a good reciter of Quran. And so then he looked at me and he said, you know, you have good intentions, but sometimes your actions should just be all over the place, right? But ask Allah to accept with your good intentions. He said, and maybe you should write down the rules. And so I was like, okay. So I started doing this. We need... Now, write this down. We This is nasal pronunciation. Runa. Write it down. We need. Anybody know? Eid. Do you know what that rule is? Huh? It's mud. Longation. Two, four, six. Well, these guys don't know. No Quran over here. Haram. I'm about to, I'm about to help. This is going to, you know, we, we're going to be good, right? You all coming back to Duxie with me. And this is the rule right here. Need. 
Anybody know this rule? I can't hear you. It's the Kalkala. When I got introduced to the Kalkala, I had never heard about it. So I was like, Kalkala, Kalkala, Kalkala. Right? This is my own experience. Because I was remembering what the rules was, right? So I was making this house. We need more money. So I was like, oh man, so I started talking. So now, now I was like, okay, I jumped from English and so I just say you guys' names. Like I was like, yeah, Sheikh Ilyas Habibi, right? Oh, right? And then I had my other Sheikh earlier today, Mu'alim Musa. But all of it is because I'm internalizing all of the rules because I'm late in the game. And then I'm still working on my itram, right? And idhar. I got a lot of issues. You see, can you tell? I'm just sharing. I'm just sharing. And then I, I wanted to, when I grew up, everything was haram. I mean everything. I thought that when the word haram, like when it meant that Allah said no. But since I was hanging around a lot of Arabs, I learned that everything was haram. Like even the kids, we wanted to do anything. Can we can we go bowling? Haram. Right? And then the, the one kid was like, well maybe, maybe. He said, How much did, how much did it cost? Ten dollars. Haram, haram, haram. Right? I was like, man, we can't do anything. So as a result, I started making like movies when I was young in the living room because we couldn't do no there was no games or nothing I mean I thought that we could, and we could only watch kung fu movies so I thought that all of the, the kung fu guys on the movies was Muslims because they would have the jupa on they had thobes on you know and they had beards and so I was watching them be like wow and they would be doing like this <laughs> yes your skills worthy of a general. And you know what? Let me tell you this. Y'all watch Kung Fu movies? <laughs> Listen, I have never seen anybody in life that ever talk like the people talk on the Kung Fu movies. Right? Ah, if Tong Chi's here, then Tong Pa's not too far behind. <laughs> right? Even if y'all seen this Bruce Lee movie, there was a black guy. In the movie, I'd never seen a black man talk like this before. He was like... <laughs> You want some Chinese spare ribs? And the guy was like, you don't know what Chinese spare ribs are? Come here, let me show you, right? I used to love it, so I used to internalize the Kung Fu movie, so I would always, right? I used to do all that stuff, right? I just have good, good fun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I almost forgot why I was telling y'all that. Because <laughs> you can tell I have so many things be going on in my head. Um, but yeah, alhamdulillah, I'm still working on myself. Yes, can you agree? And then uh, from there, subhanAllah, look at this. I, I found out that maybe we could do movies and we can just tell our own stories, right? And make movies. So alhamdulillah, now, can you guys see my shirt? Halaliwood! Yeah! I know! I was telling them, I was like, guys, we can make halal movies. You know, one of the brothers was like, what are you talking about? Everyone to know, all the best movies are haram. And then I was like, what movies you be watching, Sheikh? No, no. <laughs> he was like, no, 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 no. Like Fast Furious, they have haram in it. They have haram. I was like, I understand, I understand. So I, I wanted to do films, wanted to do movies. But I went to Hollywood. And uh, I was going through Hollywood. I had some interesting challenges. So I, I like something that Sheikh Elias was saying that made me want to tell y'all this. That, uh, and, and, Ibrahim, and Ibrahim was also sharing it about one choice. So I had, I was, all the time I was having these moments of choice. And uh, just to, so I can end this a little bit early, like I used to have to go to different events, right? This is Hollywood, so I'm meeting different agents and all that kind of stuff, right? So let me tell you what happened. Uh, I was doing this show on MTV, 
And um, I used to sneak to go and make salat because I was shy. I didn't want people to see me praying and get, I didn't want, I get all of the attention and I didn't feel like talking to them about Allah because I just wanted to go and do my job and uh, go on about my business. So I was, one time I was hiding behind the door. I was making salat, right? And one thing that strengthened my confidence in just praying when it's time to pray was it was this Adan. <laughs> I done. <laughs> yes, she comes, she busts in the door, right? Poof. And she was like, oh, oh my God, he's praying, right? And then I was like, oh, I'm caught. And then she said, we should totally do that too. <laughs> Now, I didn't look behind me to see if they was praying with me. I didn't know. I didn't, I, hold on. I didn't want to look, right? Because in my mind, I know they didn't have no abayas on or anything. So I just kept making salat, but it made me be confident, like, wow, this is amazing. I should just keep praying more often. Who knows? Right? Later, too, I went to this other event because I wanted to talk to Prince Faisal. Prince Faisal was having an event in Hollywood. And um, I was with, guess who I was with this night? I was with Dave Chappelle, Abdullah Chappelle, another brother named, um, what that boy name? His name was Jihad, which was an interesting name. Right? <laughs> Matter of fact, let me just tell y'all this. I have a friend named Imam Jihad. He goes to Starbucks, right? On purpose to try to have them write his name. He's, he puts the letter G and then H A D, right? Right? So that they could, so the Adans can say his name out loud. Like, Jihad! <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. I feel like they're calling for the Jihad, the Adans. <laughs> So listen, listen. So I was at this end. I was, I was at this place, right? And listen, what my experience was. So many things was reminding me that Omar, don't, don't get, don't get caught up, man. Stay focused on Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And I was there, and there was this lady. Like, okay, this is the other part that I'm gonna make a confession. Michael Jackson came on. I was a little bored at the party because I was trying to be good. And uh, Michael Jackson came on. This is the time that Michael Jackson had just passed away, right? And, uh, boom, 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Which I used to halal everything because everything was haram. So anything that I like, I would always try to make it Muslim. You know, it didn't matter what it was. Uh, it, it, it was like, I took that, I like that Miley Cyrus song, Haram. I don't know why I like that song, but it came out and she was like, so I changed the song. I came here just to make a lot. I'm gonna pray to my Lord. Oh, yeah. So you see what I'm saying? I know, I know. So I'm just sharing some of my, so I'm at this party. I was doing the Michael Jackson. <laughs> Right? And then it was this lady, tall lady. She came and she was like, oh my God, you're like Michael Jackson. Yes, you're so good. And I was like, I would be like, no, Shaitan or Rajim, right? And myself, but I was keeping my, you know, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I said something. I don't remember exactly what word I said. Like, I was like, yeah, man, you know, alhamdulillah. He was like, oh, she's like, you're a Muslim? I was like, yes. And then she says, I'm Muslim too. I was like, oh. So she was really tall. She had this little skirt on. Allah bless her. Have mercy on her. And then she said, this is when I didn't know. Do y'all know what they call Morocco? It's an Arabic word. Yeah. I didn't know what she meant. Only thing I knew about Maghrib was that it was Salat. Right? So then she says, I'm, I'm Maghrib. Say. Now, I hadn't prayed Maghrib. <laughs> so, so I was like, I didn't know Maghrib looked like this. <laughs> Allah help me. <laughs> this is true. Okay, they're going to flog me after this. <laughs> this. I was like, this, I did not know the Maghrib looked like this. But you know what she said? She was like, oh man, make dua for me. Where are the Muslims, you know, where are the Muslims? And she was like, say Fatiha with me, please. And then I was like, this is so weird. But then I was thinking like, well, 
I mean, hey, <laughs> I might as well say Fatiha, like, what, what are we going to do? You at the party, I'm the only one jiggy into Michael Jackson, so Bismillah. Alhamdulillah. We said Fatiha, and that was it. She disappeared. <laughs> I was like, wow. I always make it Margaret from now on. <laughs> it shows up differently. Oh, man. And then, um, now I'm grateful. They offered me, like, a lot of money to be, like, the, uh, I'm grateful. I made the right choice that I didn't give in to the money because it's so much money. So, one of my reminders for you all is people are going to come and offer you so much money. But alhamdulillah, look at what I'm doing. I'm having Juma at night. I'm hanging with a bunch of Qadis. Coco. Coco is here. It was the first time I met a brother. Black man. What's up? Right on. I like that too. I was like, that is the coolest thing. They was like, that's Coco. What's your last name? I understand, but that's Coco Ali. You know what I'm saying? You're like, man, what do we have? Do we have a Coco Muhammad? You gotta be a little darker. And can we get a Coco Abdi? But there's only one Coco. All right, so, so now, alhamdulillah, all of that to say, all of that to say, sharing some of my stories with y'all. I, um, Allah blessed me. You know, he done, I've done some stuff, and now we're writing our own films. I did the, um, the rush hour was one of my first was one of my first biggest um, breaks where I played the double for Chris Tucker. I had fun, man. I was there with Jackie Chan because I like kung fu movies so much. And when I even when I met Chris Tucker, he was like, "What's up, man?" I was like, "What's up, man?" He was like, "What you doing?" I was like, "What you doing?" I was like, "Man, we gonna admire shit, man. We gonna pray all day long." I'm like, "Hi, Alessia. Hi, Alessia. We can do this." Man, don't tell nobody, man. So, 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 alhamdulillah, I found, I found a way that I could stay close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'm so grateful for all of you, all of you all, like y'all came out. And alhamdulillah, it, it's motivating all the time that we can do some good amal, we could do good works, we could do what Allah gifted us to do, but we have to be firm and staying with, Sheikh Ilyas was saying, uh, having taqwa and keep asking. Asking Allah. So, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is a dua that I'm learning. Rabbi adkhilni mudkhala sidiq wa akhrijni mukhraja sidiq wa ji'ali min ladun ka sultan al nasir. Like, I want to be Allah's powerful helper. I want my entrance to be with truth and honor. I want my exit to be with truth and honor. I want to live honorably so I can die honorably. But the only way we can die honorably is if we make sure that we make those right choices and we stay firm on knowing that Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is more important than any and everything. And then we can do all of the good things that we like to do. We can have fun, we can smile, we can have a good balance, but we have to make sure we make the right choice and always choose Allah first. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, except for me, thank you all for having me, and except from all of you, and um, all the sisters too, and all of our sheikhs, alhamdulillah, and the qadis, and these Quran teachers, the mu'allim, mu'allim, arabi. Yes, I like I like that one <clears throat> when they get the deep voice. Ya yeah, you hadnas. Like that's when somebody's getting married. Is, is anybody gonna get married tonight with these beautiful fires? 